guys what's up thank you so much for watching jeets and talks i'm shivani welcome to a new video today i would like to talk about a book called when breath becomes air by paul kalanithi the 14th episode of hashtag no boys in monday the forward of this book is written by abraham borghis paul kalanithi was a neurosurgeon and writer he was from kingsman arizona and in his memoir basically he chronicles his experience of navigating through the multiple times was diagnosed with age 4 lung cancer when he was confronted with the fact he tried to find a meaning out of this life and his approach of thinking is really commendable and it's definitely one of the best memoirs i've read so far writing of this book is so much exquisite and the book is actually divided into two parts and followed by the epilogue written by by his wife Lucy Callan Callanithi in the first part of the book he shares his experience of residential training on neurological surgery and in get to listen to so many intricate details on medicine and if you even not from medicine background you really get so much invested in the book because he really makes a great observation and he shows his knowledge with uh, credibility and how did he understand immortality uh, by being in the shoes of patients and uh, in the second part of the book actually he shares a very different approach of thinking meaning how did he um, did he adjust to the change of role from doctor self to patient self and uh, of the second uh, part is sees not until death which is really amazing the title of the book is uh, in itself uh, very much great sorry for the lack of better word here so of um, lines in the book that says how did his future ambitions or uh, uh, goals got flattened out then how did he start living in the reality how the shadows of death uh, decide the forms of action in in the book see that how did he try to stick to his values how did he give meaning to life he got back to literature and he has read numerous authors and quoted them to name few eliot conrad and lots more and uh, one of the uh, lines that i really like from the book that he where he quoted samuel beckett like i can't go on i'll go on so really stuck by those words and followed it throughout his journey he also shares his uh, journey of parenthood and uh, written words for his uh, daughter and also shared his uh, insistence of his marriage life and he kept it very real and very much integrated he doesn't try to sound um, anything else for anyone he keeps reality and integrity throughout the book through the journey also that he doesn't try to keep an unrealistic optimism over crushing despair line like he exemplified the law of thermodynamics where the order tends towards entropy or decay there was this understanding of him why me why not me how did he from the below the end part of the book which is written by her wife also connects dots and she all sharing her experience and uh, i think this would this book would actually be would not be complete out her words wonderful book that if you are picking this book do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and meet you soon on next monday mm -hmm.